what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and uh hope you're having a wonderful day we're gonna go over what's sold on tuesday and wednesday uh, so we'll go over tuesday first and on tuesday we had we started out the day with this uh red line reissue red baron nice car you can pick up these at flea markets estate sales you won't find nice cars like that at thrift stores but you, there's a ton of them at flea markets my cost for that was about ten dollars sold for 29.95 plus shipping uh, next item uh we sold is a lamaz puppy tunes dog yeah, that. I found that. Lamaz, anything Lamaz, if you get it for under $3, you're going to make a good profit. So okay. I look for them for cheap, and then I sell those. So it's a colorful dog, which is pretty cool yeah. for kids, babies, under, kids, kids under five. Toddlers, yep, little baby kids. Yeah, so $20 <laughs> uh, free shipping on that one. Mm -hmm. So we turned $3 into, what is it? So usually stuffed animals are a dollar, but for those they usually price them like one ninety nine. Okay. So two bucks. Okay, two bucks into twenty, we paid about four shipping on that one. So there's definitely a little bit of profit, and you yeah. can find those anywhere. Like it's just about looking. A lot of them have tags on them too. Yeah. So you'll find new ones. Next item that's sold is a uh, Hot Wheels motorized XV Racers Ferrari, uh, more of a rare silver color. Uh, from 1998 so a lot of 90s hot wheels especially that one being motorized and a ferrari um, they're very valuable to collectors so i got 34.95 plus shipping on that one and i paid three dollars uh, at the thrift store next item that's sold is a pair of usd aggressive roller blades uh, for trick skating um, I, I do pick these up when i see them um, you won't find a lot of them but they are there. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace sometimes. People just getting rid of rollerblades for really cheap. I actually paid probably around 100 bucks for these. And they're practically brand new. Um, USD, uh, depending on what size they are, is going to be how fast they sell. It's size 9. Took a little while to sell, but I got $196 plus $17 shipping. And these kind of skates last a very long time. And the company is still around making new USD rollerblades. And a lot of their skates are $250 and up for a new pair of skates. Next is Funko Pop, Rick Grimes. Now, everyone loves The Walking Dead and Rick Grimes in a little Funko Pop form. I picked that up at a thrift store um, for $5. And it sat around for a little bit. And we got $18 uh, free shipping. <laughs> I was hoping it would be it would be shipping on. Is top it of money house. back, or did you make a little bit of profit? Well, so I paid five for it, and we sold it for eighteen dollars. Um, so eighteen bucks, you know, you got eBay fees, which is like two. It's gonna be sixteen. PayPal fees is like a dollar. So fifteen minus uh, five. Minus five, so that's uh, ten, and then you have it probably costs like four fifty to ship. So we're making like five fifty on that one. Still two cups of coffee. Yeah. Uh, new with tags, Levi's five hundred one, leather patch, men's straight uh, leg distress jeans. Uh, I actually picked these up in uh, Ross, and Ross stores are all over the country. You can walk in there and find things to flip any time of the day. That's why I like people that complain I can't find anything in my thrift store. I used to find things at Ross to flip every single day. I would go to three, four, five Ross stores. And if I found a nice jersey or like a nice uh, soccer jersey or something, and I saw that I can get it for 10 and it's going for 30 bucks on eBay, I would go to five stores looking for that same jersey. And uh, you can find stuff at Ross to flip. Sometimes it's overpriced, but they have markdowns and sales and like right here. This is a pair of Levi's. Um, check these out if you want to see the custom stitching patches and stuff like that. You know, all the hip kids are wearing these. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, if I wasn't so fat, I'd probably keep these for myself. 
32 oh, yeah. by 30. You'd wear those? Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, 501, which means uh, it's got the, not the zipper, but the buttons. Classic 501s. Now, there's no patches on the back or anything, but you got the fading going here. And uh, picked these up for probably around $18, and they sold for 62 so very nice profit, especially for uh, something from Ross. They did sit for a few months, um, but yeah, very nice profit. And you can find stuff like this at Ross all the time. Next item was, uh, we already shipped it out. It was a Shaper Stomper 4x4 Chevy Blazer. Um, it's these little plastic uh, like off-road vehicles. Got that with a in a bag of like five other cars for a dollar so cost to me was probably we can just say a dollar or probably cost like 25 cents sold it for 19.95 uh free shipping but still a nice nice flip for a, a little car and then we have the start of the new day which is this is for wednesday sales hot wheel school bus and red baron new in package for 27 plus shipping Cost to me there is about eight dollars, probably four a piece, and uh, got 27 plus shipping. Next item is I'm actually very happy with this flip. Uh, we do a lot of hats, right, Julie? Yeah, you love your hats, Steve. <laughs> so we do a like we do a ton of hats, and I always look through hats when I go to estate sales. And so we went to this one estate sales up north, and I walk in there and I couldn't believe my eyes. It was 80s hats. 90s hats like this guy was a collect like a hat collector he had probably more hats than i own that was this my... weekend right yeah this that was, was a fast flip yeah, that was this weekend and i picked up oakland raiders nfl afc champs super bowl uh you know super bowl afc west uh, division champs uh for 2002 and he had two awesome hats in it there was a black one um that I picked up and that I sold for thirty nine ninety nine, and then the cream colored one sold for thirty nine, and he bought both of them. Combined shipping, uh, two hats seventy eight ninety nine, uh, buyer paid shipping nine eighty. We packed those in uh, little poly bags individually. We put it in a box so the buyer gets the hats in nice shape, and uh, Oakland Raiders uh, both hats. We paid two dollars each for those, so four dollars turned into seventy eight ninety nine plus shipping. Mm -hmm. Next item is uh, Nike, Nike uh, skirt. Nike skirt uh, cost to us probably a couple dollars and uh, or so, and sold for sixteen twenty five plus five forty shipping. Um, stuff like this, once it warms up, like if you find it for a few dollars at thrift stores, it sells. People the tennis skirts are good. Yeah yeah shorts too mm -hmm. uh, because people like you go into dick's sporting goods you're going to pay 30 40 dollars for a pair of shorts if you can get a discount for similar ones on ebay people buy them next item is a uh, masters of the universe uh figurine webster six inch figurine and uh we cost to me i got a ton of these for 50 dollars. so cost to me was probably like a dollar and sold sold it for 15 19 free shipping but still a little bit of profit next item is a chicago 1914 logo cubs ballpark uh adjustable hat by american needle um pretty cool design vintage cubbies 2016 world champions um a great team so sold for 1890 plus buyer paid six dollars shipping and uh cost to us was about 9.99 so a little bit of a profit on this one but i love selling hats if i can make five bucks on a hat i'll i'll you know i'll even buy that so for the last two days how much do we do in sales then uh on tuesday we had a pretty decent day it was 438 that includes the shipping costs of the items so not bad and then uh wednesday was 191 dollars that includes shipping costs too today we're we sold some stuff already which is good and we're heading to uh some estate sales fedex uh these are the skates everything else post office so 
All right, so we are on our way to the post office, dropping off packages there, and then we're driving over to FedEx, dropping off one package FedEx, and uh, after that, we're free to do whatever we want. And I guess that's gonna be an estate sale that we found. We're going to uh, the North uh, the North Shore suburbs, not the North Shore suburbs, but in that area of Glenview. Um, it's like east of us, and then we're probably hitting up a Goodwill or something, and then maybe another estate sale. So an estate sale and a, probably a Goodwill. All right, so the, we missed the street to the estate sale, so we're turning around on this beautiful little walking trail. I think that's called some kind of Grove uh, house that they donated this, and it's the, what's the walking trail called? Um, doesn't say. It's called the Grove. Snag this parking spot. I actually used to deliver uh, when I delivered for UPS. I used to deliver in this uh, in this neighborhood for a while. Uh, this place is always overpriced on the first couple days. It says private property, but not anymore. <laughs> State sale property. Who's that? Oh, look. That's cool. Look at it. So he's got a hundred of them. He's What? It has the box. Oh, the Connects Ferris wheel, nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Got some off-road car sets, Hot Wheels stuff. Cool. So the Glenview Estate had a lot of these Revell uh, car cars and AMT cars, collectible ones, but the prices were astronomically high it was 18 for that that's not that's higher than ebay so i'd have to get those at about three dollars for that for me to even think about it um but yeah they had a bunch of plush toys casper was lucky enough mm -hmm. to make it into the car with See us how much they want for this like how much they want plush yeah we got books too casper's pretty cool what is that? The I don't know. I don't even know what it's coming from. Yeah. There's a little mask there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking the garage here. They have two skateboards and a bike bunch of uh, yard stuff, but nothing you can really flip. All right, so that was the house over there. We're all done. Sounded like not a lot of people were there today. I think so I- the place called Breeze Estate Sales, their prices are like high. You can find some gems on day one. So that's why I go just to kind of like, sometimes they will um, work with you on prices. But on day one, they're just, they price their stuff too high. And the owner, 
uh, or the guy who's in charge or whatever, he was talking about how they only made, it's uh, two o'clock right now, they've only sold $200 worth of stuff. And um, yeah, we bought $28 worth of stuff, which is kind of higher, more than I wanted to pay, but they worked with me on some of the prices, so um, that's fine. We'll show what we got a little bit later. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little stroll um, I think some fresh air would be good for us right now just to kind of walk around. And they built a new trail out here, so I kind of wanted to check it out. It's called the Grove. So, yeah, we don't all like, we, we do a little, sometimes we'll do little little hikes and walks in cool places. That's the Yeah, so this place stuff. is literally around the corner from the state sale we went yeah. to. So we're going to come here and probably take a little stroll. Check it out. Yep. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> I thought, I mean, it looked, they make it seem like a trail. Yeah, that's not the trail. Oh. Guess we go down here. I thought this was a bathroom, but it's just a little... Nope, uh, <laughs> it's just a little kiosk kind of thing. The Grove has been designated a National Historic Landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. 1976 out. National Park Service. Hey, look at that fat turkey. Fat turkey. It survived the... Oh, oh, look at it. Pretty big. Pretty big turkey over there. Can you go inside? I don't know. No, it's locked. I don't know what this was. Oh, that's interesting. This is the first time I see this before. Huh, that's so weird. Or maybe this was a way to like open something. Does anybody know? I don't know if anyone knows what that is. Look at the doorknob too. We shouldn't be touching doorknob ro doorknobs right now with the virus going on. But yeah. That's a cool doorknob. It is cool. actually pay a toll I lived I used to live in Wheeling so people actually had to have pay a toll at some point to use this to use a plank road like this wow. and it would go from Wheeling to Chicago and they weren't even nailed down wow yeah what's this called Julie Nook. I love these. Can you imagine sitting there reading your favorite book? With this view. Drinking a cup of Starbucks. Yeah. Their desks are so tiny. Yeah. So cool. It's a gazebo made out of sticks. Wow. That's so cool. I could make you one like that. Oh, cool. They were intentionally shaped from the Native American tribes. The AT has that, the yeah, Appalachian the, Trail. The Appalachian Trail that we hiked last year uh -huh. has a lot of trees that look like that. Um, and there's some in Illinois too. That's really cool. That's neat. Yeah. There must be a bird in there. Uh huh. Look at the size of this tree. That's that's huge. Let me see if I can see an owl. Oh look, there's birds. Oh, so neat. Oh, see, there's an owl. There's an owl. He's peeking out. Do you see him? Oh. Look how That's cute so cool. Is. Yeah. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys. <laughs> he's right there. He looks like he's yeah. cold. Yeah, he's right there. Yeah. Right here. Oh, yeah. I don't
Look up. Oh. Wow. So brown bear from Alaska, 900 pounds. Now, this. Show them the size of the photo. Wow. Look. That's the giant slaw. That's crazy. Wow. It's pretty much a dinosaur. <laughs> This is another estate that was on, that's on the property. It's called the Bedfield Estate. Oh, look at this. You can have a party here. Yeah. Like Maybe a dancing party. Close this up, close up the curtains. This could be like a little wedding venue. Look how gorgeous it is. What? The Redfield Reflection Poo. Oh, pool, pool. Yeah. Come here and skate these this one of these days. No. All right. So next stop is we're heading into Goodwill. So we'll see if we can get anything there. There's usually decent stuff, but. Nice, has the shoes. Uh, Alan Edmonds. They have a custom sole, so I don't know if I want to get them, but they're. And that's what that right there is. All right, these shoes right here, I don't know why people donate them and why the workers put these out, but that sole is gone. All right, so we got a bag filled with bagels. Uh, we got a dozen and he charged us, I was gonna get seven charged us uh, seven bucks for a dozen bagels so we basically got free uh free five bagels from the bagel and the alley place so that was pretty cool and uh we hit one thrift store today uh goodwill which was pretty decent right julie yeah it wasn't bad uh, it actually wasn't bad um mo a lot of times like goodwill's a hit and miss sometimes we walk in there and just not a lot of stuff today i actually passed on it there was a game boy advance there and another game boy but I didn't really want to test them in case they don't work. Could have made like $15 on one and then another $20 on the other. So I left about $30 for a different, another reseller who does electronics. Um, if they both work, there's money to be made. And they had like three or four decent games, but I didn't really look them up. They were priced a little high. Um, and there was a Radio Shack, uh, Radio Shack car in there for 10 bucks. I looked it up. There was a couple on eBay listed at like 50, 60, but I, I didn't see any solds. And I didn't see any solds on Worth Point, so didn't grab that. But we'll show you guys what we did get because we got some uh, we got some goodies in there. Actually, a nice pair of shoes, um, very expensive high end shoes. I think I showed it in the footage, but uh, the ones I found. I found them. They're size 14. Oh. They've been like resold and they've been redone by like a custom boot shop so they look really really cool they're over a hundred dollar shoes i got them for 4.99 they're not in like the greatest shape but i mean there's still you could put those up for like 40 50 bucks like you could probably make you know 35 40 bucks easily on them 
this uh, state sale got this little Casper for a couple bucks uh, needs to be cleaned up a little bit but these do sell online little beans Burt a couple bucks probably can get over 10 for him Bulls brand new G cap 90s um, not bad at all SeaWorld hat Volvo this hopefully I can get cleaned up because the nice 80s hat Volvo collectibles are good so a couple bucks each on those and, uh, so this is kind of cool I like to pick up uh, Chicago art museum stuff and for $12, actually he did $10 for me. It's a Chicago Art Museum, uh, what is this, like a teapot? Mm hmm okay. uh, Surratt is the author. And I, it also, for 10 bucks, I got this and I got a coffee mug. Nice. Uh, so this with the coffee mug for $10, I mean, I've seen the coffee mugs alone can go for 10 or whatever, so it can easily make more money on this. Uh, Goodwill scores deluxe edition Scrabble um, only $2.99 these go for good money we sold them at $40 and more before so the ones with the wooden letters are really nice sellers oh cool I didn't even see this so I picked this up behind the glass this was actually in their little glass container things this is a really high quality um, Santana snap-on uh, Quaker State uh, racing car and this is supposed to it's like a funny car it's supposed to go oh, like this cool. with the big motor it doesn't have the other stuff with it but I've seen these listed so I paid three dollars I've seen the complete ones listed at like fifty sixty dollars so even this like displays really nicely nice. die cast um, check that out cool. uh, Julie got this uh, shoeless Barbie doll no it has a shoe no, it, it must be in the bag all right, yeah. all right. So there you the, go. So the shoeless Barbie doll now is has the two shoes. Three ninety nine. What What'd you say, Julie? 20 bucks for something like this? Yeah, something like that. With the helmet? Right? Yeah, just her clothes go for good money. So, so women race car drivers. That's cool. All right, so here's the mug that I didn't show previously. We had to move indoors because it was getting windy and cold. But here's the mug that goes with this beautiful set. That's Chicago a nice Art set, Museum. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the Art Museum. Their stuff is <laughs> really cool. Uh, this is an item that Julie picked up. It's the Kevin Durant um, KD basketball shoes, and we paid uh, twelve ninety nine for these. Um, their soles are in decent shape. You always want to check the soles, and you can get about forty five dollars for something like this. Um, if they were new, you'd probably get seventy five, but they're not. This is an item that I found. These are actually Allen Edmonds. Um, I showed these uh, in the store for the footage. Allen Edmonds shoes. Somebody put a custom sole on it. Really like high quality craftsmanship from a shoe shop. And they reinforced the backing of it with an extra piece of leather. So it's a pre-owned pre shoe, but it looks like whoever wore these really took good care of them. And brand new, these retail, these go for about $130 or so on eBay. For $4.99, um, I feel like this is a pretty good deal. We can probably get 50 for something like this. Um, custom soles, can't go wrong with that. And I'm just now starting to get back into shoes because there's only so many toys you can find and like shoes are everywhere. And I was kind of lazy not cleaning the shoes, but I'm glad I'm, I'm deciding to do the extra work and make more money with shoes. Uh, this is a North Face, North Face uh, medium men's fleece. Mm -hmm. And this is by the looks of it is a vintage one. It's got the elbow patches on the back. It's got the cool- It's nice, yeah. that's a nice one. Yeah. That would fit you, Steve. Yeah, but I, I can't be, you know, taking, this is a resale. <laughs> it's got these huge uh, side pockets with zippers. It's even got, uh, does it have the pit zips? I think they were just like front pockets. Okay, so these are like front pockets. Yeah. So double pockets, like huge, huge pockets here, extra pocket here. 
Um, this would be great for like climbers, mountain bikers, um, hikers if you're not worried about the weight. Super nice. I love North Face. We sell it all the time. I found that one. You found that. I found this uh, Chicago Bull Superstar and Chicago native from Inglewood, D Rose. Um, actually seen him play one time in my life against Kevin Durant. It was an awesome game. The Bulls won. D Rose dropped 30 points. And I uh, love the player. And we got this for 10. I can probably get 35, maybe 40 mm. for this. I've sold these before. It's an XL men's. Uh, another item I have not picked up. It's short season now, so people are buying shorts on, on eBay like crazy. Um, these are kind of like distressed. What brand? Uh, oh, American Eagle. Mm -hmm. American Eagle cargo shorts. You know people love cargo shorts. Yeah, those are cool. Put stuff in your pockets. And uh, $4.99, can't go wrong. I've seen solds at $25, 30 35 depending on... Um, the size, just a nice 34 mm -hmm. men's size, so four bucks, it's not bad. Got more clothes. I found those. These are Julie's finds. Anything Ralph Lauren, when it's a cool yeah. stripe, this is like a rugby, uh, it's got that stitching. It's got rugby. the denim. It's not, your, it's not just your regular polo, it's got that stitching stripe. It's got the denim on the on the collar here, size large. It's got the navy blue polo horse. I mean, this is stylish right here. So people for six ninety nine. Um, not sure what I can price these at, but I have I've sold polos before for decent money, mm -hmm. and I'm getting back into clothes. And um, I mean, I always sell clothes, but I just I don't pick it up unless it's like some super fancy polo, like from an estate sale or whatever, some good stuff. But this is nice for six bucks. This is good. And another one probably brought in by the same person because this is another cool, cool stripes. I like the, the colors. Yeah. White, blue, cream, green. Not your typical kind of polo with the green horse. 100% cotton. It's got that vintage look to it. Yeah, it's nice. And then uh, the really nice item that I found, this was actually in the sporting goods. If you want to zoom in on this. So it says $29.99. They didn't get it. They got 15 because it was 50% off on, I guess, this tag at Goodwill or what, or on hard goods or whatever it was. So how much you paid for this? Paid $15. That's not bad. Yeah. So let's open this up That's and nice look at the variety. Ones, yeah. These are like, these are sealed brand new. Wow. So, so wow, like, look at this. It's shiny. Yeah. The light shines. So like, I've, I've looked up, I mean, this one... Here's uh, sealed brand new. It's made by the, uh, it's a deep diver, Wally Diver. Mm -hmm. And uh, the company's called uh, Fishing Lure Company. What is it? Cord, cord something, cord something. But I've seen like some of their stuff go for like $15 just for one. Yeah. And this one right here. They're all like kind of together. Oh, like this this guy. one's in a little bag. Yeah. Mm -hmm kind of pretty yeah so like this guy right here I end up cutting myself with these yeah be careful <laughs> uh it's an oh that actually did, did you really yeah oh no is it blood drawn it's fine okay. anyway uh this one right here is uh it's a sinking magnum rapella mm -hmm. made in finland I've seen these go for like 15 bucks just for one. Wow. So once I like I opened it up, looked it up. This I is the first time we've bought something like this, right? Yeah. Um who who was talking about fishing tackle to a fishing to a paper and moose? Did does she sell it? She talks about getting them out of state sales. She oh, okay. looks for them, yeah. Okay. She's a YouTuber we watch. Oh uh, yeah. So paper and moose. That's probably where I got the first idea in my head to start looking. I wasn't really looking for them, but I saw the quantity. Yeah, quantity, how many how there many, were. And I saw that one was made in Finland and yeah. some are brand new. There's some really pretty ones. Yeah. And sometimes people just like them to, to uh, collect, collect and uh, use for pro different projects. Mm -hmm. But, yep, there's that. I mean, and one, they, they wanted 30, but got it for 15. So, yeah, along with the estate sale, I think there's some decent profit to be made here. Um Back to doing shoes, starting to pick out the nice uh, fitness shoes again. And uh, these stylish shoes, I think this would be a nice, nice sale. Even with the custom sole, 
like this was done really really professionally at a at a nice place so like somebody can definitely rock these but uh yeah is that everything yeah oh nice all right time to list so that's what we usually do we bring it in we eat our dinner and then we list the items so. all right see you guys later all right thanks for watching